Hi lifestyle lovers, we're back with all that's popping on the lifestyle scene. I'm Garfine and this is Lifestyle Today. Miley Cyrus has twerked her way right off the cover of Vogue magazine. Cyrus, it is rumored, was to have appeared on the magazine's December issue. But following her VMA performance, no-nonsense editor Anna Wintour pulled the plug on that one. Angelina Jolie is adding to her Oscar collection, and this time it's not for her acting chops. The mother of six is being awarded the Governor's Honorary Oscar for her humanitarian work. The actress will be awarded alongside veteran actors Steve Martin and Angela Lansbury. Carrie Bayliss is Miss Universe Jamaica 2013. The former Miss Jamaica World won the competition ahead of 10 other beauties in a boutique show at the Jewel Duns River on the weekend. The coronation was just ahead of a September 15 deadline set down by the Trump Organization. Bayliss's next stop is Russia, where she will compete for the international crowd in just a few weeks. Avant-garde Adidas Ultimate supermodels Kate Moss and Naomi Campbell are just two of the celebrities who have teamed up with the shoe company to design custom kicks to be auctioned off. Proceeds will benefit the UK lesbian, gay and bisexual charity Stonewall. Hot on the heels of his impressive showing at the Taste of the Caribbean earlier this year, Chef Brian Lumley has opened a new restaurant in New Kingston. 689 promises the best gourmet delight to be served up by Chef Lumley and his team. A lifestyle today in our spot. Go check it out. When Australian Catherine Whitty couldn't get the champagne stage out of her 1000 US dollar Prada skirt, she did what few would even consider doing. She sued Prada and won. The court ruled that the luxury fashion label should refund the full cost of the garment as they failed to warn Whitty that splashes of almost any liquid would ruin the skirt. The Turtle Man shows us how to preserve the lives of baby turtles by unearthing nests and releasing them into the open sea. On a roll this week is retired London school teacher Mel Tennant. Right, when you've got the turtle and you've got what looks like the roofing tile down the back, if you count one, two, three, four scales, all right, sure. then and you turn it over and it's dark, then that is a hawksbill turtle. Now these are critically endangered. Now once you've got, if you've got white on the underside, it's a green turtle. Yeah. If you've got five scales, it's a loggerhead. And if you've got six, it's a, it's a Kemp's or an Olive Ridley, all right? Okay, what we need to do now is we're gonna just tip the bucket over in a minute, but if you go in that direction and that direction and between here and the sea, They're scatter. They're gonna scatter. Every crab hole needs to be closed over. If there's a big bump in the oh, sand, oh. just smooth it out. So you just start here looking for crab holes and get that sorted. That's where the umbilical cord was and it's joint and it's nice and do. If it was completely flat it would be even better. This one is a little bit bigger and a touch softer but it's still okay. Alright? Now you can see how flat the stomach is on that one and that one's got a slight bend to it. So that one's slightly more mature than that one. Alright? sure to pick up Sunday's Outlook for more on this exciting adventure. That's all for now my fellow lifestylers. Till next week, I'm Garfine reminding you that life in style is lifestyle. <laughs>